everybody. <laughs> I hope you all are having a pleasant day. I am not in my craft room again. I'm in my living room on the floor. Doing this haul. I was going to do it last night. Some of this is from um, a haul I did last week. I was in progress if you saw it. It was one of the ones I'm, I'm trying to save you some or something. And I was like actually recording in the store and putting items inside of my um, baskets. So I want to show you some of the things that I bought. I, um, first off, let me just show you these. These were actually from a Joanne home, which I, I did include in one of my hauls. I showed you all that I had gone to Joanne and got these diamond dots for 50 cents. So, I'll put those out of the way. But they, some of them are, some of them aren't. And what I didn't do that I should have done was check to see if the others were reduced price. So, this is the... I'm going to try to get some of this glare out. This this is the We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, what is this? Uh, a typeset stamping block. It's originally... What? I think it was more than $14.99. It may have been like $19.99. And it went to $14.99. And then to $5.99. And at first I wasn't going to get this. I did get the Precision Pro um, Press advance but I wasn't gonna get this because um, I didn't feel I needed it didn't quite know what it is but I do see it looks like like it's an extra um, stamper that you can use to with your um, the advance but it does come with letters so and it has a storage case for set letters so see if you got the the regular press this will give you an additional stamping um temp you know to to stabilize your, your block so you can do a different card or whatever it is you're you're doing you can do a different one without buying the entire kit and that's what it looks like it is to me and i wasn't going to get it but i was like ah good price i might need it later because i always do that i always say oh i don't like that i don't need that and then I end up needing it later because I saw the Julia Nutting doll stamps and they were using this and I was like, I'm not going to buy that. And then I saw somebody else's video where they were using it and I was like, oh, that makes sense. If I'm trying to do multiple cards, I can use something like that and make sure my cards are exact. So say if I wanted to sell a card or somebody said, oh, I like that card. Can you do me a card just like that? something like that you know it kind of gives you a, a template to use so you don't have to try to figure out what you did you still may if you want to change them up but you know what i'm saying so this great price i've been looking to get this and i'm glad i didn't buy it when i was um originally gonna buy it during christmas season <laughs> because i could wait it's originally seventeen ninety nine, but it's down to four forty nine now. And what I'm getting it for is this hound's tooth. I'm a University of Alabama Roll Tide alum and fan, and so that's the um, Paul Bear Bryant um, hat fabric that was used. And everybody still we continue to use it to celebrate the wins that he did. But we got Nick Saban, and the T-shirt that I did that I wanted to use it on was. Thanks for the win, St. Nick. And the thanks had in um, the Alabama A. And I had the wins, had a Christmas tree for the eye with the, you know, the, the gold star leading us to Christ on it. And St. Nick, you know, Santa Claus, but Nick Saban. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was going to do some presents with Red Bow. And I couldn't find any at first, and eventually I did see this because I didn't realize, you know, it had the four different things. So I was just looking to see if something had like just this, but it'll work. But the thing about it that um, I had to the T-shirt I used didn't have the sublimation or the infusible. I don't think it uses this infusible ink. So I went and bought um, one from Hobby Lobby. They said now they have them 30% off all the time. And so um, 
I just went and got one. I didn't, the price, I think it was like eight ninety nine, and I didn't look at the discount because they weren't just kind of beyond the 30%, but it was, it was fine because I want to try it out. I'm going to try it on a regular shirt and then I'm going to try it on that and see what the difference is and make my shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm cheap like that. I had to wait till it went on sale. Okay. And so I showed you some other videos with this, um, Versacolor ink is from six ninety nine to one seventy four. So this color is cyan. I don't know why I always think cyan was a red more so than the blue. But here you go. I got educated. Okay. And so then this one I got charcoal, you know, which is black and and um pine cone brown. Then I got this um stays on um because they would be discounted two seven ninety nine for two forty nine, and of course that's more than that, but it's still cheaper than seven ninety nine. And if you wonder, like, why are all these people going and getting these discounts? Well, one we use it, but um, and then it's good to get it at a discount. But two, I really didn't do a lot of stamping. I have stamps and I bought stamps, and I really was thinking I wasn't going to get into this stuff, the stamping and scrapbooking and card making but I'm all of a sudden just into this card making thing I wrote some poetry years ago when I was about to graduate from college I went through a reflective stage as I call it of um you know my years as a child growing up and making it to college then through college and about to graduate and getting ready to get go to New York at that time and so I was in a reflective state and wrote some poetry and not endeared to poetry, but just wrote some just because it came. It just came. And so I wrote it and it came for a while enough to technically write a book, which I had on, on um, Amazon. But I had to check. I, I wanted to check some of my copyright uh, material. I didn't cop I didn't plagiarize anything, but I needed to give. um credit to the person who said that reach for the stars because I did include it in something and I also included a little of um I didn't realize I just thought this was a saying but I realized I needed to check um with what people say if um what's that saying now I was, just had it right on the top of my tongue you know how it goes um it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all and I was like that probably belongs to somebody and so I checked, and it's um, this old English guy. I can't think of his name now, but it was from a poem he wrote to a friend who died. And it was probably like so many pages, like a book for the poem. Um, we all know him if I said Eden did something. I'll think about it later, and if I do, I'll tell you. Um, but anyway, I got this yellow because I normally wouldn't get yellow. Because I'm like, yellow isn't a color that just stands out for me. Then I thought about it. Wait, you might need yellow. <laughs> you might need yellow, so get some yellow. So, I did a demo in one of the other videos um, that I showed uh, other ways to use stamps. Like, I got this one, it's $5.99, and I got it for $1.49. Then I got the bigger one that was $2.99. And I got it because they're that good price, and I may need them. But I was showing in that video how I used it with a stamp, this block, and how I... We'll just use the stamp cover, put the stamp on it, <laughs> go and dip it into the this actual stamp the ink, and then put it on my flower. So I'm saying that technically I don't need these, <laughs> but I got them one because they had a good price, and two just in case one day I find that I I do need it because I wasn't sure. I mean I did what I needed to do, but I was like it probably could have been been. I don't know. Maybe using a stamp block would help. So I got um, these um, artistic wires. This is a gauge 22. And this is a gauge 24. And before I knew you all and knew that YouTube was doing haul videos and videos where you do projects, um, I used to buy this stuff a lot and I make little projects. And so now that I know, maybe I'll do some projects and put them on YouTube. I just I just found out or realized this uh, was it last year? It's like people are putting videos online about shopping. 
I'm a shopper. I'm a shopaholic. I know how to do this. It's like, I can do this. So anyway, I got these beads. They were 99 cent. I bypassed them at first. But then I was like, girl, as much as you love lipsticks and lips and all that stuff, you know you need to get those little lips. Now, when I did the wedding, if you watch my video, which a lot of people hadn't at this time, but if you watch my video where I do um, the wedding haul, to show just some of the things that they had on sale. They had this over in that section. And I got these here because I can use this. Um, well, you know, like when I have a little get together. <laughs> I can use this and put something on top of it. Or like say, um, my daughter's, we got this little cupcake. Um, that you can make the little Disney lady little cupcakes and stuff and i can put them on there i'm gonna probably use them and you'll probably see them when i do the cake for my birthday my birthday is march 17th and so i got a cake pan which you'll see a video that i have if you want to look and see that i got it because they do have those uh was it at michael's Hobby Lobby? one of them but you look at the video and, and you'll see it has the cake pan and so i'm gonna do that cake and i'm gonna try to do two cupcakes on the other side then I got this out of the wedding section because I've been threatening to to start a, a veil business because I did my own veil for my wedding. And so I've been threatening to do one. And I didn't use this, but I, and I'm, I'm taking this over here. And a good thing that my house isn't <laughs> a mess. But I'm going to show you. Well, I can't really. I guess I'm not supposed to show my husband because he don't want to be on this stuff. But I'm going to show you. This is my wedding picture. I've been threatening to show it. This is my wedding picture. I did my veil. I ordered my tiara. And my sister-in-law made my beautiful bouquet. Thank you, darling. And I made my dress. And yes, I sewed it. Picked out the fabric. Bought the fabric. Sewed it. Um, I got my jewelry. I think probably from Belt. Um, I did the decorations, that, that art that I show in the video, um, well, mine was different. The other two that's in the back are the ones that you can get from Michael's. Now, this one, they have it at Michael's, but I think they have it usually during June, or oh, oh, up to June. And I put the flowers and the wisteria and all of that stuff. And um, So anyway, just showing you that I really, <laughs> I do stuff. I do stuff, y'all. Um, and I made this. Well, I didn't make this, but I'm going to use this to make some veils. Now, I got this. I'm doing some arts and crafts over here, so I'm really trying to cover this <laughs> this section up. Because um, I'm doing, look, some diamond dots. I got a Christmas kit, and instead of waiting until then, I'm just going to go in and do them now. Because I don't want it just sitting around. Give me just one second here. Okay. So, these uh, were in a, in a section with the wedding stuff. And what this is, is you put this on your shoes. And I want them to put on the back of some shoes. Um, I'm not getting married again. I'm <laughs> just getting them for decoration. I got this acrylic. And I guess they have them so you can write your vows on them. And they show... Uh, you can have it with, um, you know, for your place settings and all of that kind of stuff. Different ideas that they have here. But um, I'm going to use it to put um, a poetry or sand on it. I might get a little stand and and put it up against it. And I, I just, I mean, I like the way the acrylic looks. And, you know, I'm going to do something with it. Something fun and artistic. And I think that's... And dynamic for my little thought processes. So I don't know if I got this already, but I got them just in case I didn't, because it's a good price and it's a quick, easy way to make a pair of earrings for myself or for someone else. The same with this. It's already earrings, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do something else with them, put some beads around them or something, but I'm going to wear them plain until I make that decision. Um... Well, I almost bought these two or three times. But this here, it has um, it's a necklace. And I bought, um, I'm going to do a Michaels haul soon after this here. Where I'm going to show you that I bought a lot of that make and bake. Well, Hobby Lobby, they call it make and bake. And they have some for Easter. 
but um like if you look at the easter stuff you'll see um some sun catchers and they got the make it bake um little glass pieces that you can put in and put them in the oven michael's call it um create and bake and so i also bought this here from vantage um i just like those 3d type of things i thought it had little bees in it and then this one was a cross that I saw at a different store than the ones I normally go to. I think that when I was in Huntsville. Okay. And this is a headband from the wedding section. So I'm going to have to stop this right here for a moment and go back to work. And then I'll come back and show you all the other things that I bought. Talk to you later. Bye.